Guys, I've always been absolutely intrigued with everything simulation hypothesis oriented ever since I've encountered it, uh, you know, in the early 2000s by uh, Nick Bosman. He's a Swedish philosopher, guys. Um, and, I, and I know basically if this is Neil deGrasse Tyson speaking on it, he, we're going to be getting into most likely Nick Bosman um, and the three principles, let's say, of the the trilemma, I think is what he called it here, guys. Um, so basically, um, human society in itself goes extinct before reaching any type of post-human civilization, basically creating any type of uh, AI or anything that can run itself indefinitely. Um, or this post-human society has no real interest in running any type of ancestor simulization, um, sim simulation, simulation. You get what I'm saying here? Um, that could be also. Uh, then I think the third principle was we are most certainly living within a simulation. So uh, that's what um, Nick Bosman postulated. So let's go ahead and jump into this immediately. There are a couple of flaws in these things because, again, there are no real like glitches in the matrix. Um, but, but pretty much based off of like technological trends that we have currently, um, it is actually moderately plausible that we can create such things and then inject some type of AI. But let's go ahead and jump into this immediately, see where this takes us, guys. Uh, this is a suggestion via discord let's do it chuck i've been public on the fact that i'm waiting for someone to convince me that we don't live in a simulation this okay. is i've heard you say it the arguments put forth have been quite convincing okay to me. moderately and most of the best arguments are traceable to a guy named nick bostrom a philosopher at the university of oxford okay here's the argument ready go ahead our computing power is growing rapidly right we create simulations of worlds we have video games with characters that are inside the video game. Right. Imagine a day where you can simulate a world so perfectly with life forms, humans, so well mm -hmm. that you can recreate every single neurosynaptic thought you could have, but now you're in the simulation on the computer. Okay. So... Including the perception of free will. Well, there you have it, because then... So now you would have enough... Perception. ...computing power to imbue the... Sims inside of the program with all of the human traits that we possess now. Correct. Not only our human traits, Not but the world. But the world. The world itself. Right. And you don't have to have all the world existing there at all times. Right. That might be an unrealistic amount of computing power. Right. You just need enough the, of the world that they see around them. That they see around them. The draw distance in a video game, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right. So you want to start digging? And oh, that's I, so funny. And I haven't put the earth in there. <laughs> just, there's a flag that goes up in the programmer, and they say, oh, need more earth. And so, right. so they put earth beneath you while you can keep digging. It's like right. a Truman Show. Yeah, well, for example. I mean, for, right. okay. I mean, it's like the draw distance in a video game. It, absolutely. Okay. Cool. Or then Minecraft, you can build or stuff. Or Minecraft. Minecraft, right. Oh, that is Minecraft. Right, right. Okay. God, that guy's a brilliant genius. Okay. So, and we went to the moon. They said, okay, let's make sure what, the moon what, is there. Right. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's why we can't travel faster than the speed of light. Because if we could, we'd be able to get to another galaxy before and they could program, they could program it. that galaxy. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, okay, wait. Wait. <laughs> So Wait. much fun. Oh. Oh, no. oh, so the programmer put in oh, that no. limit. Put in the limit. Because that's Speed the fastest they can that's get. A, we, can't, we can't program oh. fast oh. enough. Oh. So we put in Chuck. a limiter. <laughs> the speed of light is a limiter oh. so that you can't get to the next thing before we build it. All right, so let me finish. That's good. Go that's ahead. good, Chuck. Uh, right, I didn't, so let me finish. Whoa. So, now, so now that world evolves and they develop computing power. Right. And they say, we want to play video games. So now we're going to make a world. So then they make a world. Mm -hmm. And they have sufficient computing power that they invent right. to create a whole universe within their computers. Okay. And then they, they make a world. Right. And then they make a world all the way on down. Right. It could be hundreds, right. thousands, billions, infinite. All right. So, so far. Like a Minecraft server of sorts. It sounds like it still works. That's fine. So now close your eyes, throw a dart. Mm. Which of these universes are you going to land in? The first one that's real or the gazillion that are not. Well, yeah. Just statistically. Am, okay? am right. I drinking when we're playing the starts game? Because <laughs> then you're missing the entirely. Did everything. No. So, so yeah, there's, no, something, there's yeah. something called Bayesian statistics where uh -huh. you're mm -hmm. allowed to introduce information that you already have available to you, even if you didn't measure it to be true. All so right. we establish the likelihood that one day we'll have the power to do this. Right. And then that factors into these statistics. Okay. So... There's one in a zillion, you're the real universe, and 999 zillion to one that That's you, your simulation. Your simulation. Uh, that convinced me. And, and I don't want to be convinced. I didn't <sighs> like it. And I was just begging for somebody to, to give me an you. argument that was cogent enough to 
undermine that entire reasoning. And I just- yeah, the problem is that there's there's not going to be really much of an ability to do so because no one knows anything. Right. I mean, we all have our ideas of what is true and what is factual based off of feelings and um, and things like that. But, guys, there's no way we can disprove or prove this. Um, so let's not think about this. If that makes any sense here. Um, but all right. I just came across one. Uh oh. Who? OK. OK. It's a good friend of mine, Rich Gott. All right. Uh, he was a, a colleague of mine back when I was at Princeton. All right. Uh, deep thinker, likes calculating the ends of things. Nice. Right, with Bayesian statistics. He's heavily quoted in this book, The Doomsday Calculation. And William Poundstone is a smart guy unto himself. And I am now convinced. Now you're convinced. Are you ready? Okay, go okay. ahead. What do all these you So here is what convinced me we are not in a all right, simulation. Let's go. Let's okay, go, let's are go. you seated? All right. Yeah, we're, we're sitting down. Are you put, right. Hold on. I'm going to hold. We're planted. <laughs> all right. What do all those simulated universes have in common? They're simulations. Well, yeah, you win. They can. They have the power to simulate That's themselves. That's what I'm saying. They're simulations. No, they have the power to simulate themselves. Right. Oh, okay. Right. Yes. That's they, what they all they have in common. They make a simulation. They have so, that power. Right. Exactly. To simulate right. themselves exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do we have that power now? No, we don't. No, we don't. We Which means that we can't send it. In, we can't send ourselves into the future as a simulation. Because so we, we don't have can't, the power yet. So we can't continue the chain. We're, so either we, we are, are the, the real one, right. or we're the one in the chain that's still evolving mm -hmm. to into try to human? then make a simulation within their own world. Right. Jesus. So Jesus the odds Christ. of us being a simulation goes from a gazillion to one. Right. I mean, from, to, to, to the likelihood of like, a, a, a right. gazillion. Right. It flips. It flips. 50-50. Wow. And I'm good with that. Yeah. I'm good with that also. Uh, yeah, definitely 50-50 scenario. Like we can, again, guys, us humans, as humans have created um, our own like secondary theories of, you know, uh, for, for hundreds of years, basically, right? I get that, but yeah, I'm 50-50. I'm probably 50-50 on this also. That changes my life completely. Yeah. yeah. Okay? And no longer are your kids gonna say, dad, it doesn't matter, we're in a simulation anyway. No, you got an argument now. <laughs> you have right. a rebuttal. Exactly. Now, a quick one. I have to do my homework. <laughs> I go. You ready? Go ahead. Maybe these simulators have okay. a side activity where they like reminiscing about days before you could simulate. Oh. That would be us. So now we're Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Running right. a secondary oh. simulation <laughs> inside classic, of the simulation. Yeah. Classic <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> so, so maybe we're just entertainment, like a historical exercise. Right. Right. That's possible in principle. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um, what uh, they call it was a uh, the ancestral simulator. However, let's look at our own conduct with that regard. <laughs> okay. I think ahead. of a movie as a simulation, just for, for the sake of Which this it kind conversation. Of Which it kind of kind is. Of is. Ask yeah. yourself, how many movies have been made in a time before we ever knew how to make movies? Relative to movies made in the era where we know how to make movies. You can do the numbers. It's small. Oh, yes, oh, the no. Spartacus... There's the OK Corral. Right, there's not many. The there's the yeah, because obviously we don't have the the actual like visual insight to be able to do that. Everything that we're doing is we're basically creating it to uh, kind of make sense to us. But, but we can never prove really any of the things that we're seeing and seeing in any of these movies that were created in a time before a time. Guys. Yeah, those that, exist. That, that type of stuff. OK. OK. So if we are any measure of the incentives right. of creating simulations. Mm -hmm. which all we can do with movies at this point, yeah. then they might have some historical uh, thing, but there's way more interesting things and stories and to now, tell in the era of simulations that exist post-simulation. Right. right. And the, and the, yeah. So <laughs> even if there are some period pieces that we might be, right. still most of these would be universes made after they could simulate themselves. Right. If our movie making habits are any indication of anything. So the chances are we're not a little offshoot, like a little side project. We could be just statistically, it's Probably not likely. Not. Right. Because many because we're throwing darts. Right. And most of the stories they're gonna simulate are gonna be the ones that they are that, experiencing. that are in the era of the time they could simulate themselves. So that still brings us back to we're probably either the first or we're on our way to being the next. On our way to being the next. That's right. correct. One that's, the the, that's more likely than any other possibility here. Wow. And yep. so I'm, I'm so I, I can now rest well at night. So no simulation. Yeah, um, I'm good. I think I'm real. I think you're real. I think we're good. Okay. I mean, 
Again, guys, I'm definitely down for the 50-50 concept of it. And we are definitely, in fact, entering into some type of post-human uh, civilization because we are advancing AI in a way that's absolutely frightening, okay? Um, we should probably try to slow it down a little bit. I'm just going to be honest here. Specifically, if, you, if people want to work and still be able to do things, um, you know, sustain their family off of the income that they they themselves are earning, I would say uh, we should probably slow it down just a little bit because AI is absolutely wild right now. Like, it's getting crazier. Like AI can recreate this exact video perfectly and have me saying anything they want me to say, basically. All right. It's wild out there. Guys. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we are and we are, at, in fact, entering into some type of post-human civilization. So um, it does seem like uh, one of the three laws, let's say, of this trilemma um, is kind of coming to fruition. We are cre we have the ability to create a creator. That makes any sense here, guys. Intriguing. Absolutely intriguing. Um, another thing that always stood out to me was that physics. So, so physics in itself is based off of laws that uh, can basically be recreated and recreated consistently. And what does it look like on a, on a board, guys? Looks like math, right? Math math in itself looks like code, right? It's code. The whole thing is, everything is code. I don't know, guys. But either way, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. Really.